So today I'm going to be talking to you about a formula. So a formula is a list of things that give you results, right? So before I tell you about a formula, let me tell you a little bit about me. Um, it might be a little hard to tell, but when I was young, I used to think I was the stuff. <laughs> like, I used to think that. I know you can't tell, but when I was younger, I thought that I knew everything. I thought I was the gift to the world. I, I know you guys, you guys can't relate, but I thought, I thought that nobody could talk to me, right? Because I was raised in the hood, right? I didn't know it was the hood. I honestly thought it was Beverly Hills because it was, it was awesome. Like, I will never disrespect. But I thought that I was untouchable. So um, my last year, I, I, I transferred from a trimester school into a semester school. So for those of you who don't know, a trimester is that you take the same four courses, eight courses throughout the whole year. I needed probably one or two credits, so I went to a semester school so I can leave halfway in the year. So I went into a new school, and when I went into this new school, I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna know about me up in here. They're gonna know I'm the gift to the school, right? right? Because I'm here, right? They, they should know who I am, at least, you know. So one day I was in the school and um, I was walking, walking through the cafeteria and here I am walking through the cafeteria by myself because I'm new, I don't know anyone. And as I'm walking through the cafeteria, a girl was walking in and, and again, I thought that everyone should clear the way. Because <laughs> I'm coming, I'm walking. So as I'm walking, I noticed that this girl brushed my shoulder. <laughs> I, and you know, She's beautiful, Somalian girl, beautiful girl, right? And um, so I took time to turn around because I needed to address her, let her know who she, she brushed me, right? <laughs> so I promise to you, and God is my witness, no word of a lie, it's not even fun. So as I walked and I brushed her, like, she obviously doesn't know, and she's walking with her friend, so it's two of them. So as I walk by and she brushed me, I take time to turn around, Excuse me, but, but as I turn around, she had probably 30 people behind her. So I said, what, 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 what is it? I'm like, did you not, you didn't, and you, you brushed me. My tone changed. <laughs> you hit me a little bit, but it's okay. You're good. Just wanted to acknowledge how you doing. And I kept walking. But I was so impressed, because I know there was two of them walking this way, right? But then I don't know who told the rest I was turning, but then there was 30 behind her when I addressed her. I said, what is going on? And I'm not gonna give away my age yet, but in the 90s, I never knew about Somalians. They just came. And let me tell you something, you mess with one, you mess with them all because I promise you, there was about 30. There could have been more, I just couldn't count because I tried to change my tone and everything, but I know there was at least about 30. And I said, what a great community. I don't even know if they knew her, but they were just a community. In line, don't mess, right? Getting older, we, Sometimes we forget to grow with something that's important, which is called maturity. Right, as you can see, I was obviously not mature in high school. Right, um, there was a little stuff lacking, don't tell your pastor, but there was a little bit of things that I was struggling with, and it was a little bit of self-identity. Right, I, I don't know if anybody was struggling with this, right? So in some, when you're, when you're not mature, you lack in developing of understanding your situation, you lack and developing what's going on, your circumstances, how to move, how to talk, when to talk, when not to talk, right? You're not equipped for the situation that you were in. Obviously, I was not equipped, right? I definitely was. She made me equipped for, to know that I should stand off. Um, you're picking the wrong friends when you're not mature. You're hanging the wrong, 
areas when you're not mature. Is, it, is this making sense to everyone? Yeah. Okay. Some adults continue to cling on some careless attitudes, mm. some careless ways. They don't want to be responsible. They have a lot of challenges in life. They don't know what to deal with, right? And if you, if I was your enemy, if I was your enemy, I would make sure that you wouldn't understand about community, right? The impact, the importance of being around the right people. Because if it's one thing that I, I, I'm gonna tell you guys about this, when my son right now, he's, he's turning nine next month, but when he's 13, I'm going to have a party with older men. Seven older men, right? And so what I'm going to do with these seven older men is that if I have money, I pray. <laughs> if I have money, I'm going to do a hotel. And I'm gonna put them all in different rooms. And for my son's birthday party, he needs to go in each room. And each person, each man should give my son wisdom. Mm. Right? Yes. Remember I told you he's my only one. He's getting it. Not that I don't love my shitty girls. Because <laughs> I know they're, they, I love you. But my son will get in each room with each man. Because everyone has different gifts. So. At this time, I am studying a lot of different people who I'm going to put in these rooms because he needs to mature. We don't buy maturity. We, as a matter of fact, if you, are, if you live long enough and you see a lot of older people, you can see that they're older, but they do not have maturity. Mm -hmm. And I ask myself the question, what is lacking with people? Community. I find that community is important because if you're in the wrong community, you have wrong thinking patterns. You walk a little bit different. You don't even know who to call, right? My son is going to need that. My children are going to need that. Everybody in here should need that. We have to let people know the importance of being in the wrong community. So I always say, I have a little saying for everything. And I'm, maybe you guys heard it before, I'm sure, because I'm not quite a genius. But your thoughts become your actions. Yep. Yep. You heard it before? Yep. Just pretend you didn't hear it. <laughs> your thoughts become your actions, your actions become your habits, your habits become your character, yeah. right? Yeah. And then your character will define who you are, and then who you are defines the community that you're a part of. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So let me ask you this question. And I'm talking to everyone, and I'm even talking to the four-year-olds. What community are you a part of right now? You see, I need to be a part of a community that is walking with Jesus Christ. If you're not walking with Jesus Christ, then you cannot be part of my community. I, I am a person that loves to please people. I, I, I'm developing. Pastor Shaking said, but I, I am developing. I am, I'm a work in progress. As we were talking in Sabbath school, and by the way, you guys got a great Sabbath school. So whoever didn't make it, you missed out. It was amazing. You learned a lot of things. The problem is, is when we're not mature enough, we don't understand how much we need. We do what we know, not what we don't know. But sometimes we don't know we don't know anything. Right? What we talked about, a little piece, a little sidebar in, in our Sabbath school is that a lot of times what we do is we say that we are, we're Christians and we don't realize that we act and not respond. There's a difference between acting and responding. So when this girl passed me, I acted. Foolishly. But when we respond, we give the Holy Spirit time to talk in and through us. Yes. It's no longer about us anymore, yeah. right? We don't mind giving the Holy Spirit permission to, to, to give us that voice yes. and to say, maybe you shouldn't talk right now. Mm -hmm. It's in his silence you hear him, right? right? right. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of us right now that are in dark places right now. And I, and I was saying in the Sabbath school, if we were just open, and as I love your pastor for saying, he loves transparency. 
Because it's in the transparency that will allow you to know that you are going through something, but that's okay. It's in your transparency that will let you know that if your wife cheated on you, if your husband cheated on you, you're good. We're in the world today. You can still love him. You can still pray for him to come back. You're not wrong. You're not wrong if you don't want to go back either. But that's where the community comes in. The impact of a community is deep. You see, I learned that through five seconds of dealing with this late, beautiful lady. But can you imagine if we were real Christians? Imagine if I can come to you with my weaknesses. That's the community I don't know if I make it sound good, but that's a real community. 